Welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at four camouflaged everyday carry ideas. So let's check them out. So my first EDC item in camouflage is gonna be a wallet. And I chose the Drenger Dreadnought Limited Edition from Drenger Goods. The leather here is a ghost black camo Conseria La Bretagne. And of course the Drenger here is handmade and hand stitched. And since this is a ghost black camo, the whitish camouflage on the outside will wear away eventually with use. Eventually leaving you with a black wallet with a little bit of camouflage sprinkled here and there. And you can already see some of that wear coming through right there and a little bit right here in the black. This wallet is gonna be absolutely gorgeous when it wears in. It can hold between eight to 10 credit cards plus cash in its four pockets. It's an extremely functional wallet with a quick access card pocket on the outside. Another card pocket right here on the inside. This pocket right here is perfect if you wanna carry cash folded into quarters. And right under that is a hidden card pocket right there. Now you can pick up the Drenger here in multiple different leather choices. You don't have to go with the ghost black camo like I have here, but I figured this ghost black camo would be perfect for this video. And this Conseria La Bretagne leather isn't a stiff leather at all. It actually feels very, very soft. It feels nice. The last time I checked, Drenger Goods doesn't have a website, so I'll leave an email address down below in my description box if you wanna order one of these bad boys for yourself. All right, so my next everyday carry idea is gonna be a flashlight, and that's gonna be the Olight i5T EOS in camo. Now I've said this before, I like my EDC flashlights to be compact, easy to use, and bright. So that's why I chose the i5T here from Olight because it checks every single one of those boxes. It has a maximum lumen output of 300 and you might not think that's really bright, but for an everyday carry flashlight, believe me, it's plenty bright. And with those 300 lumens, it has a maximum throw of 60 meters. It's powered by a single AA battery and has up to 20 hours of light on its lowest setting. And speaking of that lowest setting, there's only two modes, a low and a high. And those two modes are accessible through the tail switch on the back. That low is 15 lumens and that high we already talked about was 300 lumens. And what I really like about the i5T is that ramp up from low to high. So can you guys see that? There's low and then there's high, it ramps up. I absolutely love that. Checking out the body here, you can see that double helix body knurling, which is really good for grip. It feels very nice in your hands when you're holding it. It has an IP rating of IPX8. The X means the dust proofing wasn't tested, but the eight means it's submersible in up to six feet of water. And this camo on this i5T is absolutely beautiful. I'll give you guys a nice close up here and check out that blue two-way pocket clip right there on this camouflage. It looks awesome. Now, when I said I like my EDC flashlights to be compact, the i5T is about 3.74 inches long. Now, granted, that's not the most compact flashlight in the world, but in your hands, it actually feels like a perfect size. Not too big, not too small. It feels nice. And then couple all that with Olight's five-year warranty. The Olight i5T right here is an excellent choice for an everyday carry light. And now my next choice is gonna be a pen. So I chose the Fisher Space Pen Bullet 400 series in true timber strata camo. Now the Fisher Space Pen Bullet is a staple when talking about an EDC pen, especially the 400 series here. Now if you guys don't know about the Fisher Space Pen, it can write upside down, it can write underwater, which I've tested before, and yeah, it can write underwater. It can with Stand temperatures from negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and it can write over grease, all thanks to its pressurized ink cartridge. And Fisher ink cartridges are widely available. You can basically get them anywhere. Now, of course, I chose this specific space pen bullet because of the true timber strat, a camo. And because the bullet is one of the most reliable pens I've ever used. It's tried and true. It fits perfectly in my hands. When it's closed, it's only 3.77 inches. When it's open, it's only 5.35 inches in length. And it weighs only 0.7 ounces. That's why I think the Fisher Space Pen Bullet is perfect for EDC. And the last camo item I chose is a handkerchief. And this one's from Halley's Handmade Hanks in black and gray camo. Now I don't really feature a lot of Hanks on this channel just because in the past I didn't really see a need for one. But as of late, I found myself carrying one in my pockets for a variety of reasons. But the main reason is whenever my blade gets all gunked up and fingerprinty and just dirty in general, a Hank is a perfect solution to shining up that blade and making it look very nice. I use this blade a lot and I have some adhesive on there, but just a couple swipes with this Hank and 
takes it right off. The main reason I chose this specific Hank, of course, is it's black and gray camo design on the front, and it has a solid black border and a solid black back, as you can see. This Hank from Halley's Handmade Hanks is made from 100% cotton, and it's available in three different sizes. The size that I have right here is an eight inch small, but you can also get it in a 10 inch medium or a 13 and a half inch large. And it has this gorgeous black and gray camo design on the front. Now you guys can see why I chose the Halley's Handmade Hanks in black and gray camo is one of my four camo everyday carry ideas. All right, so what do you think of my four everyday carry ideas in camo? Got the Halley's Handmade Hanks right here in black and gray camo. I have the Olight i5T in camo, the Fisher Space Pen Bullet 400 series in camo, or the Drenger from Drenger Goods. Let me know which one of these is your favorite in the comments below, and if you have any suggestions for me, maybe I might feature that in an upcoming video. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of my four camouflaged everyday carry ideas? Now, if you wanna check out anything that you saw today, I will put links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!